everyone. I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, I'm here to do a really quick how-to. By the way, I'm Johnny Allen, aka Supercar Kid, if you don't already know. And today, I'm going to show you really quickly how to make a wooden shift knob. So, I looked around online, and apparently, no one sells a plain old wooden shift knob, like, like a normal little ball shift knob. So, uh, I decided to make one, and it's actually pretty easy. As you can see, I use a lot of wood, and um, I always love the feeling of wood in my hands, you know? There's nothing's better than some good old 2.25 inch wood in your hands, you know? So, um, I decided to make a wooden shift knob for my car, you know? And uh, it's actually pretty cheap. So let me show you what you're going to need. You're going to need a wooden ball. I got this at Michael's. Um, this one is a 2.25 inch one, and that fits pretty well in my hand. Uh, if you have smaller hands, you'll want maybe a 2 inch. Bigger hands, you'll want like a 2.5 inch. So what else you'll need is this. This is a 10 millimeter uh, tap and drill bit. Now, I had, I measured my stick in my car, and I came to find it was 10 millimeters thick, so that's why I got 10 millimeters, but uh, it, measure yours individually, you, it, yours may be higher than 10 millimeters, yours may be lower, I have a 350Z, so any 350Z owners now know it's 10 millimeters, any, um, some other cars might have smaller like eight, I think eight is like the lowest it goes, but sometimes it goes up to like to 12, 13, 14, 15, like it, it can get pretty high. So 10 millimeter, this was about 897, I think. So it was pretty cheap, not too expensive. And that's all you need, just those two things, that's it. So let's get started. When you thread it, because this, this is to thread it. When you thread it, you can only thread it once. You can't go back multiple times and thread it. It doesn't work that way. So. Once and done. That's why I got two of them. <laughs> I suggest you buy two wooden balls in case you fuck up the first one. With the way how my shifter is, I can just um, put a hole through as long as I want it to be, thread it, and then it'll reach down to like the bottom point where it can't go down anymore, and that's when it'll be like completely tight. So. I don't really need to worry about the length of mine. Uh, some other people might, though. I, I don't know. Depending on how your car is, on how your shift uh, stick looks, you might need to worry about it. You might not. I don't know. But um, I don't need to for mine, so yay. <laughs> Tap it out. Also, make sure your piece of wood doesn't have any kind of like cracks and messed up parts because this is going to be your new shift knob, so you don't want it to just fall apart while you're driving. That would suck. So now we're going to thread it. There we go, nice and threaded. Okay, time to put the shift knob on. And just like that, wooden shift knob. Feels pretty damn good too. <laughs> I like this so much more than my boring old, you know, boring old Nissan shift knob. By the way, if you need a Nissan shift knob, I got one for sale. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, like, actually, I don't care if you like or subscribe. But um, go make some wooden shift knobs. Cost about, what? Well, that was like... The ship, the ball was like two dollars, so that, that was like eleven dollars, something like that. Uh, and you can get everything locally. Like I got that threading thing at Home Depot. I got this at Michaels. Um, you don't have to go far for these things. <laughs> Super easy. Oh, but that metal part does get hot, though. Well, I will say that it does get hot. I mean, it's I can. I'm a man. I can dig it. I can dig it. Whatever. Um. 
But yeah, go make yourself some wooden shift knobs. And if anyone out there wants to make a company that sells wooden shift knobs that they make themselves, go on ahead and do it. My idea, you steal it. Whatever. <laughs> I don't have time to do that anyway. All right. Peace out, guys. Until the next tree. Also, guys, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of this little shifter here. This was originally the shifter I was going to put in my car. Also, ignore the gap there. That's, that goes away when you install it. But um, I was going to put this in my car, and then I lost a 10 millimeter adapter for it. So if you have an 8 millimeter, 12 millimeter, and I think 16, 16 millimeter, if I'm wrong, I'll correct myself in the video. But if you have any of those, uh, then you can get this shifter, this little shifter for free. All you got to do, subscribe, uh, like, and comment on the video. That's it. That's all you need to do. And you can win this. So, for free. So, uh, do that. Get this. Be happy.